Hi hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. It has arrived. My first, because I have two, annual FabFitFun Winter 2023 box. Let's get into it, see what I chose. I'm always so excited to get this. This box comes inside a bigger brown box because I also have additional selections and I have some add-ons. I didn't do too many because I do have that second box coming. One thing I did forget, I did the rush on this box and I forgot to do it on my second annual box. We customized them the exact same day. This one arrived on my doorstep last Friday, which was two weeks to the day from when customization ended. This is Wednesday. As of this Friday, it will be three weeks. I don't even have shipping on my other box yet. So definitely worth the rush shipping for me because of the channel. If you guys want it quickly, it absolutely works for it's me. really new to FabFitFun. FabFitFun is a lifestyle box. It comes out spring, summer, fall, and winter. We have makeup-y things and home goods things. We have some fashion, all kinds of goodies. If you sign up as an annual, you pay in advance for the year. It works out to $54.99 per box, and you customize all six customizations of your box. If you sign up as a seasonal, you pay $59.99 each season, and you customize the first four selections. This is what it looks like when we open it up. Now that I've got the packing off the top of it, that's what the inside looks like. It looks pretty empty. I did have a couple of small things on the outside. Okay, paperwork. If you have any other questions about FabFitFun, let me know below. And if I can answer your question, I will. I'm in no way affiliated with them, but I do have a link that will send you over to FabFitFun that will get you 20% off your first box. Okay, we have our ultimate prize pack valued at $10,000 scratcher. We'll try and remember to do that at the end. Our HelloFresh coupons, which we get every season. And on the back of the scratcher, we have our little QR code. I will scan that into my iPad. It will take me over, I think, to just the app. And then that'll tell us about all the goodies that I chose. I'm going to make an executive decision with this box. I meant to poll you guys between last time and now and say, do you want me to read all of the choices in customization one and then show you what I chose? Or since we did all the spoilers and most of you will probably hear for them, do you want me to just show you what I chose? That's what I'm gonna do. If I'm wrong, let me know down below. And when I do my second box at that point, I will let you guys know what was in every customization choice, but I will put the card at the end of this in case you are new to FabFitFun and you would like to see what all the choices were. I did a full review video. I'll put the card at the end of this for that. So I'm just gonna show you the choices that I made in each customization. I have to tell you, I was surprised. I didn't remember doing two additional selections in customization one. My very first choice in customization one was the robe. I was very intrigued by this velour looking robe. If I could only have had one thing, this is the one I would have chosen. It is by Splendid. I got it in the plus. It's thin-ish, but I don't mind that at all. It is also, can you guys tell, it's a little short. I think we knew that going in. It has some good stretch to it. I like that a lot. It's super soft, especially here in the fall when we're kind of transitioning into winter. This is gonna be super perfect. As I recall, Yes, I also liked it. Well, they called them three quarter length sleeves. I'm gonna say that's probably an, if it was on me, I think that might be even an elbow length sleeve. I love three quarter length sleeves or shorter in robes because when you're cooking, when you're washing dishes, all of the things that I tend to be doing in the morning when I'm in a robe, much easier without a long sleeve on. So this was my first and most important choice in customization one. In customization one, you would have chosen whether you were a seasonal or an annual. In customizations one through four, everybody gets to choose. My second choice, this was a game time decision. This is that fringed throw. My girls love blankets. They come here and they love the blankets. We throw them on the floor. We build so many forts with them. The littles love to build forts and they just, they just get used. And for the cost of an additional selection, it was totally worth it. Oh my gosh, it is so crazy soft. They say it has a $78 value. Look how pretty it is. I mean, it's very bright. It does scream more Easter than winter, but it is very pretty and it is very soft. I have on a dark blue shirt, is it worth it? It doesn't seem to be shedding. I was just kind of rubbing it across me because you know, sometimes we get these and they shed. So It does not seem to be shedding. So for those of you who wondered, 
so far, this does not seem to be shedding and it is super soft and super pretty. My girls are gonna love this. My third and final choice in customization one is the Insert Waves Here Hair Waver. I may or may not have picked this up for a gift. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. I'm not gonna take it out of here. It does seem to slide really easily though. Here, let's slide it this way. Does it slide this way? Yes. Oh, it's covered. I was gonna say, so you can kind of see, see it's the three waves that gives you a size relative to my hand, but just a fun way to put some beachy waves in the bottom of your hair. Also a great Christmas gift for the price. So this was my third additional selection, but again, so worth the money. Okay, in customization two, I chose the NARS Lippy. I believe I chose it in Shag. I did. When we take it out, this is what it looks like. I remember it being slanted like that at the top in the spoilers. I have a lot of lip on. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and we'll give it a try. That is the best I could do for getting it off. I do still have some sparklies on there. It is pretty. It is the least warm of the colors. Of course, around my lips now, because I rubbed the other one off and my skin is so sensitive, around my lips looks a little red. But that is the color. We'll see how it dries down. Right now, it feels really, really nice. It's got some moisture to it, but it may dry down. It is actually a really great everyday color. Kind of just a lippy color. I thought it was gonna be a little pinker than it is, not quite as warm, but it still, it feels really nice. And I think it's a great color. Not as red as the ones that I usually wear when I'm taping, but when I'm out there grocery shopping, this is more of what I wear. My second choice in this customization is the Olaplex number no. nine. Honestly, not sure if this is a gift yet either or if it is for me, so I won't talk a lot about it, but it was a great price for an additional selection. This was $39 retail. I think additional selections for this category were 15 can't be Olaplex for $15, so definitely worth picking up. It is a nourishing hair serum, and it says it softens, protects, improves manageability of all hair types. So those are my two choices in customization one, my original choice, and my additional selection. Customization three got a little wonky because I felt like my go-to choice in customization three was the Malin and Getz peppermint body scrub and then some one of you pointed out that Jen over at Jen Loves had done a review of it and said it was pretty harsh and the last thing my body wants now in the middle of winter especially is anything that is harsh or stripping to my skin. I decided to take a pass on that and since I have two boxes I couldn't decide what I wanted to put in each one and on the day of customization that morning I talked to my daughter and she was like you know what I wouldn't mind trying the Grande Lash MD and I thought Perfect. That is the one customization that I really don't know what I want to get in. So this is actually for my daughter. That worked great. So that was customization three, my only choice. In customization four, I wasn't sure initially what I was going to do in this box either. And then a lot of you started talking about the sewing down south and the apron and how you love the fellow that designed it and his TV show. And I thought, you're right. I do need a new apron. I actually am getting ready to tape a chili recipe because I'm doing a Thrive haul. And I thought, this is fall looking and perfect for chili. I like this, it's kind of thin. Let me get it open. Just on first blush, it feels a little thin, almost like a cotton with just a little bit of maybe, not plastic on it, but it almost feels slightly coated. Don't mind that either because I do tend to be a little sloppy when I cook. And if this helps it not stain or be more stain resistant, I'm all about it. This is what it looks like. I have the pockets on front. It's actually two pockets there and there. It is very lightweight and it has, can you guys tell, it pulls pretty nicely. You know, sometimes with new canvassy aprons, they're really thick and they're almost uncomfortable to wear in the beginning. This doesn't feel like that. It's got a nice, you could, it's got a nice pull to it. Pool is what I'm saying, you know, it puddle. It puddles nicely. Drape. <laughs> Drape is also a good word for what this is doing when we're talking about clothes. Everything's fine, it's fine. I'm getting it back together post-concussion, it's fine. But we will just take this, put it here, bring it around, do it through this doodah. And then it has the waist straps, which look very generous. So yay, I'll be cooking soon and making a mess of this. And I can't wait, I'm glad you guys talked me into it. This was my only choice in customization four. Again, because I have the second box. If you are a seasonal now, the next two that we do, FabFitFun will have chosen for you. They choose customization five and customization six for you. If you are an annual, you made these choices yourself, which I did. And this was one of the things, it's fairly small. It's not a huge value. They said it had a $20 value, but it is the water drop 
discovery kit. I have been wanting to try Water Drop, and so many of you guys, once I said I wanted to try them, you were like, you're gonna love it. You're, you're just gonna love it. So I'm gonna go down and try these soon because I've heard that they have some really good Black Friday sales coming and you can get bottles. And so I wanna get these tried in case I do love it. And I wanna pick up a lot more while they're on sale for Black Friday. We got four flavors with this, as I recall. I'm just gonna rip right into it. We received the Sky, the Peach Ginger, the Black Currant, and Elderberry and the raspberry elderflower and we have three of each of these and i think you just literally drop them in your water and it gives you i could probably open one of these and tell you it gives you all kinds of vitamins i think it's all about vitamins and things that are good for you but on their website i think they have some that lean more toward hydration they have some with i think caffeine in them you can choose what it is you need these are sugar-free low calories vitamin c vitamin e and biotin that's what the raspberry elderflower is known for. The Sky is also sugar-free, low-calorie vitamin C. I think they're all going to say that, but then this is known for thiamine and niacin. Honestly, I'm not sure what thiamine and niacin. I think niacin is great when you're pregnant, but post-pregnancy, I'm not sure what it's good for, but I'm sure it's good for something. The Ginger Peach is potassium, vitamin C, biotin, and niacin. It's got 60%, so a lot of them have the biotin in it, which is great because as we head into winter, I have started breaking some of my nails because it gets dry and I have to stay more hydrated, so biotin will be perfect for that. And then the Black Currant Elderberry is different again. It is potassium, vitamin C, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12. What I like about it is it has some in it, but not a, it's not like 5,000 times. 40% is 40% of what you need in a day. I like that. When something says it has like a thousand percent of what you need in a day, I'm like, but I only need 100%. <laughs> Where's the other 900 gonna go? The answers to those questions are not always great. So I will probably only do one of these a day. That is what they look like. Just pick a flavor and that'll be my little water drop for the day. If you use these, let me know how you do it. Water Drop was my choice in Customization 5. In Customization 6, I chose the London Town Nail Polishes. These looked so pretty and so perfect for winter slash Christmas. Actually, the red is great for Christmas. The white, I mean, you could use the red for anything also, but something about that just spoke the holidays to me. I love a good red, just like I like it on my lips. I love a darker color on my nails, but sometimes the white, because I'm also doing the stamping, and I love that the white was more shimmery and the red was more of a matte. This is probably next to the water... Oddly enough, customizations five and six are probably the customizations I felt most confident about what I was choosing from the very beginning. I knew I wanted this and I knew I wanted these. Some of the other ones, I went back and forth about my choices. These I felt really confident about. I didn't do any boosts this season. And the only refill I did is I have a home bundle refill. I think it is $24.99. I switched to my home bundle, I think just last season, and it was fantastic. And I thought it was better than just getting a general mystery bundle, so I kept it. It is a big one, so let's get into it and see what I've got. I don't know, I'm trying not to look down. Okay, right on top we have my Tagalongs Office To Go. That is what it looks like. We will get into it and see what it is. I don't take my office on the go very often, but I do have an older teenage granddaughter and a nearly teenage granddaughter, and I'm thinking probably one of them might like this. It feels kind of neoprene. It has a little handle on it. It's kind of cute. Oh man, they have flat made it so that you have to just, well, this won't be a gift. <laughs> You open it up, you have a little plastic carrier inside, and we had something like this. Where did I put that? In one of my other boxes. It has a little staple puller, tiny scissors, tiny tape, a little pencil sharpener, and then two different kinds of uh, staplers. And then the staples are down in there too. I'm not going to open this up in case one of my girls likes it, but that is super cute. I don't hate that. Okay, next out. Oh boy. Out. I have some, it looks like the Katie Kine blue plates that I already have eight of because I filled it out when they were part of the box. Is that what it is? I think it's even my, yep, it's even the color that I own. This is four of the Katie Kine plates, bowls, whichever you would prefer to call them. They are the melamine. I chose them in this color because they are perfect with my girls. I have eight eight of them already. I will probably leave this put together and maybe pass it along to a friend or something. They're really too heavy to ship to add to a giveaway. But this is very nice. I don't remember how much this was in the additional selection, but I do love the bowls. And last, 
it's the big one, out of my home mystery bundle. This is a summer, wow, it's big. I thought it was gonna be little. This is a summer and rose. I'm gonna say they probably call it a hamper. You know what? I can use that in this room. Be back in a second. Wow, that is really nice. I'm back here, I promise. It has nice rope handles. Can you guys see the pretty, it's kind of fall-like, the, the floral design on it. It is lined, it is by Summer and Rose. Do they tell me what they call it? No, it is 14 inches by 10 inches by 21 inches. It feels bigger than that to me. That's pretty cool. I will use this up here. It's not something I would really use downstairs with my downstairs decor, but up in this room, I have got to go through this room and gather up the things that I don't use and pass them along or take them over to Goodwill. But this will be super cute just to keep in here. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'll use it for yet, but I will find something to do with it. So my home mystery bundle, $24.99. I had this huge like hamper type storage bin, the My Office to Go Tagalongs and the Katie Kine Bowls. That's a pretty good mystery bundle. It's $24.99, I think. I'm not sure what they promise in retail with it. All right, I have a good amount of tape up there. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to edit out. So I think I will save my mystery bundle, which is my big one from add-ons and my add-ons for tomorrow's video or my next video. But let's scrape this and see if I won big. I've never managed to win anything. I think one of you said at one point that you had won like $5 or $10 off in the add-on sale, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, that is fantastic. This says, sorry, not an instant winner. Head off to fff.me slash winter prizes for more prizes. So at that point, I don't know if you have to sign into your account, maybe put your card number on there. I'm not sure. I don't scratch all the up top things. It does make it more fun, more of a game. But if you just want to just scratch this, <laughs> it tells you whether you've won or not. Okay, thank you so much for coming by. That's our first winner 2023 FabFitFun box. I only did a few additional selections. Feeling pretty good about that. In all fairness, I do have a second box. We'll see that when it gets here. Hasn't even shipped yet. So for those of you who have stayed on the fence about whether you should rush or not, and some of you, I get notes from some of you in my DMs all the time about, I just got my box and I didn't do rush. And sometimes you get those boxes before I even get my rushed box. This one I got within two weeks. It I got it two weeks to the day of customization closing. And that's fantastic. But when I don't do rush, and I have said this for years, I'm like the last person to get my box. So I don't even have shipment on it yet. So when I get shipping, I will let you guys know, well, I'll keep track and we'll talk about it in the next video, how long it took to get even shipping on it. Thank you so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when we have more videos coming out. I'm gonna take these add-ons now. Talk to you later, guys.